the objective of this class to explain the review concepts scope of review review process design document review requirement document review code review review guideline test case definition what is review reviews are conducted to identify and remove defects from the work products and other artifacts early and efficiently review process involve detecting defects and tracking them to their logical closure scope of review review process applies to all the artifacts like customer deliverables and internal project work why review cost of fixing defect is much higher in the later stage of sdlc for example any inconsistency or defects found at the time of design then cost of fixing defect is lesser in compared to uh, defects found at the development stage or testing stage or production stage type of review technical review and non technical reviews proposal contract review client requirements infrastructure requirements security requirements potential risk technical commercial and feasibility design document review traceability to customer requirement contracts adherence to the design standard precision and clarity ease of construction maintainability compatibility with used technology and consistent requirement document review covered the main business needs information is precise and clear and no conflict between requirements clarity and testability consistency feasibility project plan review conformance to contract scope of activity risk and mitigation planning project goals what is code review conformance to coding standards conformance to program specification traceability to requirements adequacy of comments code efficiency test case review checklist conformance to quality standard clarity and testability covered the core business functionality traceability to requirements what is review process task and responsibilities conduct self review preparation for the review conduct review and close review what is the effective use of checklist good checklist doesn't happen overnight good checklist evolve from practical experience they perfect with time checklist mature and grow robust when there is a serious implementation across project checklist should be small and precise keep an eye on the size and overloaded checklist not only prevents from using them but also creates an illusive impression of being too theoretical keep them minimal and record important entries to make checklist practical and usable what are the key review participants chairperson author and reviewer chairperson assist in identifying reviewers coordinate and control review ensure proper review closer author provide work item in advance provide overview if required avoid being defensive in review reviewer come prepared for meeting 
be objective and focused build on other suggestions review process prepared prepare self review should be completed before peer review author to send the completed artifact along with supporting documents and relevant checklist to all the reviewers report generated from code review tools should be shared with reviewers chairperson check with author and reviewers have received their individual copies of the artifact of the artifact well in advance what is the review process author provides the overview of the artifact review can take place in two forms review by meeting and review by circulation reviewers use the review aids like review checklist reviewers point out defect and issue found during the meeting author accepts defects or clarifies issue found during the meeting chairperson resolve any disputes between the author and reviewers open issue and action items are also recorded defects are captured in defect tracking system what is review process follow up and closure author fixes the defects assigned to him author discuss review comments with reviewers if necessary open issues are taken up for the resolution chairperson ensure that all defect and issue track to closure author and reviewers agree on defect classification and root cause for the defect reviewer review the updated work products for closure of comments if needed recommended for review reviewer author logs the review rework effort in the time sheet what is review guidelines review the product not the producer set an agenda and maintain it limit debate and rebuttal in unicate problem areas but not attempt to solve every problem noted limit the number of participants and insist on advanced preparation develop a checklist for each work product allocate resource and schedule time for review conduct training for all reviewers review your earlier reviews adequate time should be allowed for the review process what is review applicable measurements review efforts percentage of total review effort to the total actual phase effort rework efforts percentage of total rework effort to the total actual phase effort review defects at each phase review efficiency overall total number of defects in all phase divided by total phase efforts of all the phases phase level review effectiveness application of the checklist should happen on regular basis this helps to check practical usage of checklist points and get rid of ambiguous and unnecessary entries you can ensure an up to date checklist by enforcing regular usage and updates where possible code review tools should be used thanks